Miss Transformers 96 here with another video review. This time we have this Pickle Me 2 Minion from McDonald's. This is uh, the number two toy, Phil, with um, with a jelly whistle. So yeah, so there you go. So overall, here's little Phil. Um, just as a uh, just as far as the actual figure it looks, pretty nice. I like his face. I like how his eyes are looking up, and uh, he's got the little smile on his um, on his head, on his face. Sorry. And then on his head, you got all of his little little ha hairs. They're just kind of like little stumps. As far as the the first one's hair compared to this one's hair, the first one's hair comes out a little bit more, while this is just a little bit uh, down. But it's still not painted. It is actually sculpted on, which is pretty neat. And uh, attention to detail is pretty well done. And overall, the actual figure is very nice. The sculpting is really cool, and I really like it. Even his little stance, it's totally a minion, and it looks great. As far as paint apps, pretty good. Uh, nothing too horrible on the figure, except for the hands. Uh, he's got blue on, on all all of his fingers but uh but that you know for McDonald's it's fine um his actual weapon this is pretty much supposed to be the uh the weapons that they use at the end of the movie to uh to turn the evil minions back into the regular minions and uh, you can even pull this out and have it like it's squirting pretty far away um his whole gimmick is a whistle so I kind of have to take it off screen to do it but um but really what you do is you just uh you put your mouth just around the whistle part and uh for little kids it might be hard to get the concept that uh, that you don't put your mouth fully on it so that because you have to leave this little spot open and then you just pull this to kind of make kind of different whistle sounds so let me kind of do that uh, it's it's not a great whistle for sure it's more just it sounds like air rather than an actual squeak of a whistle but hey it's kind of neat it is kind of cool that all of these minions their gimmicks are all sound based so you don't have any huge distracting kind of gimmicks with them they all have to do with sound which is uh, my personal favorite gimmicks because they don't alter the figures look very much at all which is great so yeah give you a little comparison with an evil minion and why don't we just take this minion from the McDonald's toy line overall it looks pretty cool and I also forgot to mention he is part of the American uh, the United States set of figures and I say that because I, a lot of different countries have a lot of different minions in their sets and some have more some have less and some just have completely different characters so yeah so overall he's pretty cool and now just to compare him with a General Mills minion as far as that size with him and then you've got a regular toy line uh, minion so yeah overall the you know the, they're kind of small but not bad I, I really do like the size they really work uh, for what they are and they're they're pretty cool so there you go overall really like this one this one should be pretty easy to find um, the, the the number one and number two came out the first day that they're out and uh, they should be easy to find pretty neat and uh, pretty nice looking so there you go thank you for watching